guys, welcome back to my channel. A few months ago I did a video about lots of drawing hacks for coloured pencils and a lot of you guys commented saying that you'd really like to see a part two to that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be going through 11 more drawing hacks for both coloured pencil but also for graphite and normal pencil drawing as well. So let's get straight into it with hack number one. It can be really tricky to preserve the highlights with your coloured pencil drawings. So I have a little tip for you guys. Before you actually go in with all of your colours, for the areas that you know you want to keep really, really bright and highlighted, go in first with a white coloured pencil and apply that first with quite a thick layer to the areas you want to preserve and keep white. Then carry on with your coloured pencils as usual, do all of your layers and you don't have to worry about preserving the whites anymore because as you can see when you go over it with your solvent or something to blend, those white highlights just pop straight back out and they can stay really, really white and then you can go over them with a white pencil again to make them easier even brighter. So underneath I'm going to show you a little comparison where I do the same thing but I won't be applying the white pencil first and you're just going to see such a massive difference between the top and the bottom one. It just is so much brighter just by adding a little bit of white pencil first. It really helps to preserve those highlights and make them as bright as they can be. And this technique will work as well even if you don't use the solvent to blend. So actually using that white pencil first means that you're stopping that paper from getting any different colours into the grain. So for example, if you're using coloured pencil, you'll know that, say if you use pink coloured pencil and then try to erase it so that you could add highlights afterwards, it's not going to remove all of that pink pencil from the paper. But adding a white layer first means that even if you get a bit of pink on top, you'll be erasing it to white. So it'll stay really, really nice and bright and you can see the difference that applying that coloured pencil first has made. Our second drawing hack really does involve one little tool and this is an X-Acto knife and this is probably my favourite tool to use with coloured pencils, particularly for hair. So if you ever struggle getting those little details in for your hair studies or fur studies, you can see that using this X-Acto knife helps to get all of those tiny details because what it does is it scrapes off that top layer of coloured pencil, revealing your lighter layers underneath. And so I like to use this to really, really easily get any little details when I'm drawing hair or fur. You can see how well it works and how easy it is to do. This means that you don't have to go and preserve all of these tiny details. It just makes it so much easier to do it afterwards. And the best thing about this tool is that it isn't even that expensive either. I think it's about £5, maybe less, and it works so well. Now our third hack is so important. If ever you're doing a drawing using graphite or charcoal, make sure that if you're using a coloured reference, turn it to black and white. It'll make it so much easier to judge your values and contrast. It may sound simple, but it's so much easier to compare your values when it's in grayscale than trying to, for example, compare a pink tone to an orange tone and figure out which value is darker. If you have a sketch or a reference that you want to transfer onto some drawing paper, then I have a tip for you guys. If you turn over your sketch or your reference that you've printed out and rub some graphite on the back, I like using a block graphite stick rather than a pencil. It just makes it so much faster. And if you layer that graphite on the back of where that printed image is, then it just makes it so much easier to transfer it onto your drawing paper. Just get your drawing paper, overlap the printed image over the top Top and just trace it over the top like normal and it will transfer that graphite underneath where you actually draw over the lines to get a really accurate sketch underneath. This can be useful if it's for example night time. You can use a window to trace and that's great if it's daytime but if it's night time this is a great option if you don't have a light box as well. But like I said if it's daytime and you've got a window available then you can also just trace it using your window and that makes for a great natural light box itself. And you can see the sketch just comes out really nicely. Now cotton buds are something that we probably all have around the house but they have so many other uses when it comes to art. In fact I like to use them to blend all kinds of pencil whether that's graphite pencil, charcoal pencil, coloured pencil and even pastels and so these are a very cheap like blending utensil that you probably have around the house already and it's great if you just want to blend something out really nicely and you don't want to spend loads of money on really expensive blending supplies. So firstly I'm going to show you how nicely it blends out graphite. 
All you need to do is get a clean cotton bud and just go in circular motions on your section that you want to blend and you can see that it gives a really really nice smoothly blended out piece. I'm also going to be going through another little thing that you can use for graphite to blend later on as well. Next let's blend out our colour pencil and it doesn't blend out by itself, you do need to use some sort of solvent to blend it and you can see that this paper was not the right paper to use for this. When you're using solvent you have to be very careful with what paper you're using, I've never tried it on this paper before. So I've switched the paper that I'm using and now you'll see much better how to actually do this. It is very important that when you use solvent you actually blot off all of the excess from your cotton bud onto some tissue so that you're not actually applying too much onto the paper. And then just like before, go in circular motions and it will blend out really nicely. And same thing with the pastels. Pastels do blend out really nicely anyway. And so as you can see, cotton buds just give a really nice smooth finish to all of your pencil drawings. Our next hack is if you are ever unsure whether your colour pencil drawing is like got the right contrast and values compared to your reference then what I recommend is you switching both your coloured pencil drawing and your reference to black and white. It makes it so much easier to notice whether your shadows and highlights are in the right place. You can see if you need to brighten up anything or if any areas are not dark enough. Just like before, it can be hard to compare your values when you're looking at colours. It's just easier to do in grayscale and then you can notice whether you need to change anything. When you're working with pencils, it's so important to keep your pencils nice and sharp. But sometimes when you sharpen your pencils, you can end up with little crumbs and bits of shavings and stuff on your pencils and they can be really annoying and tricky to get rid of. You can use your fingers, but often it's hard to get rid of everything, it's time consuming and you might end up breaking them by accident. Overall, your fingers aren't the best thing to use for this. Instead, I like to use brushes. Brushes are really quick at getting rid of all of the little crumbs and it means that you can do loads of pencils in one go rather than having to do them one at a time it saves you so much more time so I'm using fluffy brushes but it will probably work better if you use more coarse bristles and as you can see I can do loads of them in one go and I rotate the pencils with my hand as I do so so that I get it from all angles and it just makes it so much faster than doing them all individually with your fingers. Now let's talk about another way that you can blend your coloured pencil. If you don't have solvent and you don't really want to work with solvent and brushes, one tip that I have is try a colourless blender marker. So you might have markers lying around the house and the colourless blender makes for a really, really good tool for blending coloured pencils. It's easy to travel with, it also makes less mess and it can be really precise as well. You can see that it really saturates the colours and just fuses them all together to give a really nice smooth piece and you can work over the top and add more layers of colour pencil over the top as well so really it is a great tool for blending your colour pencil. I do actually have a, a longer video where I go through this using these cherries as well so if you want to see a full video about this then I will link it as a card up above so you can check that out. Now sometimes with our colour pencil drawings we don't get the highlights preserved and we want to get something a bit brighter and we find that our white pencil just isn't quite making the cut, it's not doing the job, it's not getting it as bright as we need it to. So if you ever want to make something a little bit brighter and get those little gleaming glistening effects then you can always go in with a white gel pen. This is another really useful tool for colour pencil drawings and I like to use it to get reflection in on the eye and you can see that it just makes things a lot brighter. So I already added a little bit on these eyes and I'm just going over the top with another layer and again this is a really great tool if you just want to make it pop a little bit more. Now this isn't the most archival thing to use with your colour pencils which means that it isn't going to last over time for years and years but if you're just doing it for fun and not doing it professionally and selling it then go ahead and do this. I like to do it all of the time but if you do want something that is archival with colour pencils then I'll leave a link to some products that you can use down below. Now using fingers to blend pencil is quick and it is easy but you do have oils and grease on your fingers and that means that it's unpredictable. You can get fingerprints and smudges left on your drawing and it's just not great if you're blending lighter areas. It's very unpredictable and you can end up with some really bad results and it leaves your fingers really dirty. 
So a quick way to get around those problems is wrap a bit of tissue paper around your fingers and blend like normal. Tissue is a great tool for blending pencil. It gets it really smooth. You don't have to worry about transferring lots of grease onto your paper and it keeps your fingers nice and clean. Tissue in its own right is a great tool for blending pencil and I use it all of the time, especially for larger areas. It can take forever to blend with your fingers, but tissue makes it so much faster. Now our next tag is something that will save you time when you're doing lots of colour pencil drawings. If you find that every time you want to figure out the colours that you need to use for your drawing, that you have to keep doing swatches and comparing colours, one thing that I would recommend is when you first buy some pencils, do a whole colour chart so it makes it so much faster and easier in the future to compare and decide what colours you need. I like to do this with all of my pencils and then you can run your colour chart alongside your reference image and a lot easier see which pencils are the best matches. It means that you don't have to waste time every single time doing new colour charts. If you already have them there you can laminate them or whatever you want and it will just save you time in the future. As you can see now I I am comparing it with these skin studies that I did for a Patreon tutorial and you can see it just makes it easier to very quickly figure out what are the best colours for your work. Now I wanted to include another little tip for you guys but I don't really think it's a hack and if you ever wondered how I get these really nice straight edges on all of my drawings then I just want to share this little tip with you guys. So what I use is my scotch magic tape and I create borders before I start my drawing and that means that you don't have to worry about keeping it in the lines, you get a really nice clean edge when you peel back that tape. Anyway guys so those are my 11 drawing hacks, I'd love to know in the comment section down below what was your favourite drawing hack and have you got any others that you'd like to share with us? Also if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here for more tips and tutorial videos. Make sure to hit that bell icon so that you do get notified on my future videos. But that is it from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody!